Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget, hit that red button so you don't miss any future releases. In today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing and review of a 4K camcorder, a Sony AX53. Um, Naomi's gonna show the unboxing in a little while, but what I thought I'd do with this video is to actually film um, this video using both cameras, my existing Luminex camera, my DC-10, alongside the Sony AX53. So you can see the quality of both cameras. The, um, the previous one, the Luminex, is what we've been shooting all our videos on um, since the start of uh, the YouTube channel. And we're now switching over to 4K. I'll show you the camera in question. It's uh, really small. So it's the Sony AX53. Uh, it came in at just under 800 euros. Um, it's actually the cheapest 4K Sony camcorder that's available on the market. They have brought out new additions, but they're a lot more expensive, around about £1,800. So for €800, Euros, this was a good starter camera. Um, I did buy a Sony bag that fits all uh, camcorders. However, after I got it, I did notice that it doesn't fit with the battery in place. So you have to take the battery off the camcorder and it's a very tight fit. Um, I also went out and bought a uh, card, Sony card, 128 gigabytes. Obviously filming in 4K you are going to use a lot of memory on your memory card. So I went for a 128 gigabyte card by Sony. Uh, it's an extremely fast card so it can cope with the 4K filming. Uh, that's the battery pack and that basically just slots in like so. So as you can see, when that's in, it doesn't fit into the bag, which is a shame. Um, so it's the Sony 4K AX53. So I'm now gonna put it on the tripod next to the Luminex and I'll continue this review and talking about the camera, the AX53, uh, while filming with both cameras so you can see what it's like. Okay guys, so we're filming now with both cameras, the Luminex DC-10 and the Sony AX53. Um, they're on the same um, tripods, same height, same position. So hopefully we get to see the difference between 4K and a digital film. So where do I start? Well, I guess the reason we bought the Sony uh, 4K was because we just wanted to upgrade the quality of our videos on YouTube. Um, you know, we're, we're making sort of three or four videos a week now because we've got three channels all together. And we just felt it was time to upgrade our camera. I've heard a lot of good stuff about a 4K camera. And as I mentioned, I always buy Sony for TVs, music centers and so forth. So I decided to plump for the Sony 4K AX53. Um, the one thing that I have discovered, you know, it's still new to me, so there's loads of um, elements that I haven't learned about yet. But the one thing I love about the camera is, the one thing I always forget is to take a thumbnail. But the beauty with the AX53 is that while you're actually filming, you can actually just press the button and it will actually take a photograph at that same time that the video is still being captured. What a great feature. Um, it's got great stabilisation as well, in that when you do walk around, um, the internal mechanism of the camera balances out and stabilises the film that you're capturing. So, you know, hopefully there's going to be less uh, movement when you're walking around showing the best of life in France, or just our, you know, videos and content. Guys, one thing I found astonishing with the Sony AX53 was that you can actually film in 4K and digital at the same time. So you can actually be capturing two different films at the same time. So you have then the choice of whether you edit and release a 4K video or just a digital one. It's entirely up to you. Um, you can actually edit your videos on the camera as well. And I haven't used it yet, but it's not available in the 4K uh, system, but in the digital system, you can have what's called a uh, golf swing mode. So it captures slow motion videos, and I'm really looking forward to trying that out soon. Perhaps jumping in the swimming pool and capturing someone jumping in with all the bubbles and water coming out. 
So um, yeah, 4K Sony, I think it's the way forward. Uh, I'll leave a link to the AX53 in the description below. So if you wanna have a look at it on Amazon, there's the link for it. I'll also give you a link for the memory card that I bought, the Sony memory card, and also this bag. Whether you wanna get that or get one slightly bigger, I'll leave that up to you. Guys, it's arrived. My Sony 4K camcorder. I can't wait to open the box. Let's do unboxing. You ready? Oh, wow. That's lovely. Another box to unbox. Here we go guys. Wow. My 4K Sony camcorder. That looks lovely. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the short review and unboxing of the Sony AX53 camcorder. All in 4K. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget, hit that red button so you don't miss any future releases. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care everybody. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short video on the review and unboxing of the Sony AX53 camcorder, all in 4K. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget, hit that red button so you don't miss any future releases. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Do you know I'm finding it really hard, I don't know which camera to look at. I know they're in the same position, but they're like six inches apart. Do I look at the K40? <laughs> Lost for words as well.